Good afternoon. Welcome to Stanford University for the 50th NCAA Men's Water Polo Championship. We're here at the Avery Aquatic Center. Greg Meskel here with you and fitting on the 50th anniversary, two of the all-time great programs get together to decide the 2018 crown, the USC Trojans taking on the Stanford Cardinal. How did they get here after a difficult semifinal round? Neither side advanced easily. Early on, Stanford had to power pass UC San Diego thanks to a big effort from Olympian Ben Halleck. They eventually outlast the Tritons. And then the game of the day, USC battled back against UCLA. Goalie Nick Porter, big stops late. And then the winner from Sam Slobodian. And the Trojans take it 8-7. to seven. They return to their unprecedented 14th straight NCAA championship match. We know we'll have a new winner in 2018 with UCLA's elimination, the champions from 2017. For USC, looking for their first title since 2013, that capped six straight championships. For Stanford, they've had a much longer drought, looking for their first NCAA title since 2002. And they'll have a chance to do it here at home. Again, welcome poolside. Greg Meskel here with you from Stanford University. The third meeting of the year for the Trojans and the Cardinal. Oddly enough, they've all happened here at Avery. They've split the first two. This one means the most. And these two no strangers to meeting in the NCAA championship game. They last got together the last time Stanford reached the title match in 2008 right here at Avery. It was a win for USC, 7-5. That was the win that kick-started that epic run of six straight titles for the men of Troy. They also met in 2005, 2003, and 1998. Those were all wins for USC. You have to go back to 93-94, back-to-back wins for Stanford over the men of Troy. The officials this one, Steve Rozart, Alex Stankiewicz. As the Cardinal come in a 21 and 2, 2 and 1 in conference play, led by longtime head coach John Vargas in his 17th season. USC at 29 and 3, they went 2 and 1 in conference play, led by Jovan Vavic in his 24th season. Trojans in the white caps, Cardinal in the dark. We are ready to get it rolling here at Stanford. A large crowd continues to file in. They've been here well before opening sprint about an hour ago. They started streaming into the bleachers. And they have been chanting and waving their signs and cheering, bands dueling, and now we are underway here in the national title game. It'll be USC to start things off as they control on offense. Here is Sawyer Rhodes, the Stanford transfer. Merchep, Rhodes takes a look. A few fakes, nothing there, and Parrish comes up with the steal. And the Cardinal will get their first Opportunity on offense. Here's goalie Oliver Lewis to put things in play. Ordinary called. Cardinal moving around. Here's Dylan Woodhead. Tyler Abramson. The left-hander controls far side. Abramson looking for Halleck. He has the gather. Hang on, an ordinary. USC looking for a steal, not the case. Instead, an exclusion. Matt Meyer will head out. First power play. Williams off the bar and away. And the rebound is controlled by SC. Meyer's back in. And the Trojan defense, they kill off that first power play attempt for the Cardinal. Nick Porter fired up coming out of the cage. He'll push ahead to Merchep. Left-hander moves over to Meyer. Back to Merchep, the San Jose State transfer. Goes to Hannes Dobe, and an exclusion on the other end. So physical play limited early, and score it for Merchep. A power play strike early here for the Trojans after the exclusion. A couple of fakes, oh, and that was off the fingertips. Dylan Woodhead got a piece of that, but not enough. And Merchep. Gets the Trojans on the board, on the power play goal, much to the delight of the SC fans. Merchep coming over from San Jose State. He scored 10 goals in two games against USC last year. They knew what he could do. Happy to have him in Southern California and now here in the NCAA title match. Marco Stonke, he's pressured into the backcourt. Marco Vavich defending. 
Bennett Williams will control. Here's the junior. Off the ball, another exclusion. Working inside. Parrish swatted away by Porter. Trojans kill off another power play. So two early cracks at it here for Stanford on the advantage to no avail. That was Earhart excluded. And we go the other direction. He'll sub out. Luca Caraman comes on. Caraman will come in out of the corner and control. He'll push ahead. Now here's Rhodes. Rhodes moving in. Caraman, the backdoor drive, far side. Instead, Rhodes paints the corner. A quick 2-0 lead for USC. And Sawyer Rhodes is on the board. He went cross cage with a rocket. For his 25th of the year, and the former Stanford Cardinal, he hears no shortage of jeers on his return to Avery here in 2018. And you can bet he took great joy in putting that one home. So Stanford in the hole here early, 2-0. Pressure. Oh, so close to a steal was Merchev, but here's Williams. They come near side, Parrish moving in, looking for Halleck inside, nothing there now, Williams. Williams advancing, exclusion. Number three on the opportunity. It's an exclusion on Caraman. Third crack at it here in the first for Stanford. A little bit more patience here now on the advantage. But wave it off, an offensive foul off the ball. So Stanford now 0 for 3 on the 6 on 5. This time they don't get a shot off. Caraman returns. He'll go ahead. Here's Marin Dosic who's come on. Dosic's cruising up far side. Walks it in, takes the shot and hits. What a start for USC. 3-0. A defensive miss, Dossage cruises into about two meters and hits. The junior from Croatia. And this Stanford crowd came in fired up and rowdy. They are a bit stunned at the moment, trailing three nothing. We have not even gotten three minutes into this game. And frustration on the Cardinal sideline as Stonky is pressured. On the perimeter, an exclusion foul. Exclusion number four against USC. This goes on Rhodes. Power play to the Cardinal. They get to convert on these chances. Here's Stonky moving in. Controlling far side. No look, Parrish slams it home. What a dish. Oh, hang on. They wave that off. Inside the two is the call. So no goal for Parrish on the six on five. Said he was inside the two without the ball. And Stanford's first goal... Not yet. Taken off the board. And we go the other direction. Cardinal now 0 for 4 on the advantage. Dosic gives a look. Pressured by Stonky. The lob just off the post. He had Lewis out of position. And Stanford now will take a look. Trying to materialize their first goal as we approach the 4-minute mark here in the first quarter. Jackson Seabold now far side. Top of the perimeter, Stonky. Rossman on the drive through. He'll come around near side. Now Halleck gets to work. Stonky giving a look. A few fakes. No call. Double team. He's in trouble. Stonky now still facing a double team and a steal. And Slobodian, the hero of yesterday's semifinal, steps in front to force the turnover. Substitution here for USC. Caraman out. Earhart returns. This will leave the Trojans down to man for the moment on offense. Dobe moves in. Both face a double team while they wait for Earhart to join the offense. Daniel Leong has come on. Earhart inside now. Slobodian, the turn, fires it past Lewis. You could not have designed a better start for USC. It's a 4 nothing lead. And a timeout called by Stanford. Slobodian, oh, the donut skins the shoulder of Lewis and in. He had the winner with five seconds left yesterday against UCLA in that thrilling finish. And now Sam Slobodian adds his 35th on the year for a 4 0 lead. And a timeout called by the Cardinal, who have seen USC come out with a dominant start here. Here's 
Stanford, tough to envision a more difficult opening. You've got four opportunities in the six on five. Three don't get a shot off on the fourth. Inside the two is the call on what would have been a goal. And then you see USC go up four nothing with goals on the other end. Four different scores for the Trojans. Many of the Stanford women's water polo team here in Washington. Not much to talk for just yet as Slobodian, Dosage, Merchip, and Rhodes have the tallies. Cardinal break the timeout. Lewis gives a look. Lots of movement here out of the break. Here's Siebold. Siebold dealing with Meyer. Stonky takes a look. Plenty of time here for the Cardinal. Near side now, Parrish. Shot clock to 10. Rossman around the way. Stonky now. Timer to five. He's got to go. Stonky. Seabold took his eye off the ball. It trickles out of play. And USC will take control at 4 0 with three minutes to play in the first. Zach Desaw has checked in, the senior from Seal Beach, California. Bobich now, and he's dealing with pressure from Parrish. Mircha. Bobich takes a look. Shot clock to seven. Waving. Bobich moving in. Takes a look, and that is tipped out by Lewis. Forcing the keeper left, he's able to knock it away. But could not corral it. And a new shot clock now for USC with 2.35 to play here in the first. What a start for USC. Up 4 0 here in the first. Merchek. Devavich around the way. Dosich. He'll take a look. Nothing there. He goes to Saw. Devavich. Faking. To Saw. A look. Shot clock to 12. Dosich not there. Meyer now. Under 10 on the timer. Dosich faking. Shooting and way wide. Off the mark. The ball back into Lewis. Nearing the two minute mark here in the first. Williams. Pressure from Stonky. Now Rossman moving in. Rossman cruising in. Inside two. Nothing there. He'll go back out. Stonky top of the perimeter. Now Siebel. A drive through from Williams. Lurking inside two, nothing available. Shot clock to seven. Siebel takes a look, skipped and tipped, and Porter got a piece of it. So new shot clock coming for Stanford, 1.45 to go in the first. Siebel. Stonky. Offensive. Halleck at two meters. A turnover there. Trojans now quickly on the attack. Pushing ahead. A scrum for it. And we'll call an exclusion on Rossman. He was trying to get to the ball first. Now he's excluded. Power play. Mircheff cross cage. A five spot in the first quarter in the national championship. USC has opened the floodgates early. Merchev's defender, Rossman, got excluded. That left him wide open. Draws the keeper near. So smart, goes cross cage and in. And everything turning up Trojans right now in the first. Two for two on the advantage. They lead 5-0. to go inside, tipped, nearly stolen. It'll come back to Halleck. Halleck will rise up outside, five. And they'll say no. On the restart, he drifted inside five meters. And the ball back to USC. Cardinal just need to get out of this quarter right now without allowing another score. 
Here's Rhodes. Rhodes waited for the call, didn't get it. Parrish with the pilfer. Here come the Cardinal. Seabold pushing ahead. It wasn't there. Good defense from Dobey. And Stanford will have to wait for reinforcements. They'll get some help now on the advantage. DeSaw goes off. Power play now. Stanford has the six on five try. They've struggled so far on these opportunities. Seabold, Parrish right in front. Save Porter. Nick Porter pumps the fist. He made a big stop as that one came center cage. He was there. Two-second differential shot and game clock as we come to the end of the first quarter where it has been all USC. Dosic. Vavic now takes a look. Shot clock to six. Here's Marco Vavic. Dosic now to three. Goes inside. Turning and the shot clock expires and the first quarter will come to an end. Mercifully for the Stanford Cardinal as USC has leapt out to a 5-0 lead in the national title game. They have kept the Cardinal scoreless. 0 for 5 on the power play goes Stanford. USC 2 for 2. We take a timeout and return second quarter coming up right here live from Stanford on NCAA.com. First goal here 
They try and erase the memories of that first quarter. Abramson goes Woodhead. He'll move in. Let it fly, and it's off the bar and away. And so Porter now will look to spring the outlet. And way ahead of the field, it's Merchep cruising in. Merchep on the skip and in. A six-pack for USC. And a hat trick for Jacob Merchep. The sophomore from Dubrovnik, Croatia. He took off, got out ahead of the field. And was able to hit. Merchep knows a thing or two about heroics against Stanford. He was in that October 14th win over the Cardinals that he scored the game winner with just five seconds left. And this is not a typo. On your screen, USC is leading 6 0. Ben Halleck will switch to cap 23. It was 6. LeBron James status there, 6 23. Back here. Normal means power plays. And failed them. 0 for 5 right now. And this USC defense, they've been everywhere they've needed to be. Big stops by Porter as well. Here's Woodhead. Seabold now takes a look. Abramson, another exclusion opportunity. Desaw going off. Sixth crack at the extra man. Second kick out on Desaw. Seabold now. Here's Williams. Woodhead lurks inside. Halleck back on the perimeter. Abramson now. He's knocked down. Siebold fakes and a stop by Porter. Rebound in front. And it's controlled by Slobodian. That was Woodhead in the mix trying to gather that rebound to no avail. Gossage. Mirchak. Dossage gives a look. Looking inside. Woodhead fronted. Here's Dobey. Now the pass comes in. Everybody shows up for the Cardinal in ordinary. Slobodian. Merchep. That's field blocked. Halleck got all of that one to deflect it away. And it's back to Oliver Lewis. Two minutes gone by. Second quarter. Cardinal with their best record since 2009. And 21-2. Nobody home on this pass, and Woodhead is there just in time. USC one win away from a 30-win season at 29-3. Exclusion. Another kick out. Merchep goes off. Williams now. Williams takes a look. Sebo, Abramson. Parrish lurking inside. Now Hallett. Williams knocked down. Abramson takes a look. Seabold faking inside. Right in front, and Stanford is on the board as Woodhead cashes in in close on the power play strike. Eventually, something had to give. And a big sigh of relief here for the Cardinal as they manufacture a goal here on the power play. Dylan Woodhead. His 22nd on the year out of Sleepy Hollow Aquatics. And that snaps a 6 0 run by USC to start this match. Dosich. Leon gives a look. Airship tangled, driving around. Now pops out near side. Slobodian waiting inside. A little too much bounce on that entry. Skips away from the big man. And Lewis will control. And now the Cardinal will try and build some momentum. Stonky on the way. Another exclusion. So that's two on Merchip. He'll have to be careful. Two exclusions here in the first half. He's got three goals. Power plate number eight for the Cardinal. Seabold. Gives a look. He's field blocked. Comes down with his own rebound as it was turned aside by Karaman right in front. Abramson. Halleck now. 
Abramson gives a look. Sides coming even. Abramson's off the mark. Tried a difficult angle there with the defenders oncoming. And the ball to USC. Nearing the halfway mark of this second quarter. Dosich now. Goes Leon. Exclusion on Stanford. Parrish will head out. Timeout called by USC. So Blake Parrish excluded. Just a 30 second timeout. So we'll keep things here. USC up 6 to 1. And their third power play opportunity on the way. They are 2 for 2 thus far. Some final instructions for his group. Spare Detroit doing what they do, cheering on their team. And now Bobic will get things started out of the timeout. Six on five chance here for the Trojans. Bobic, Dobe. Works along two meters, nothing there. Now Bobic around the way. Here's Merchev, who's back carrying two fouls. He is faking, looking, not there. Rhodes gives a look. Back to Merchev. Here's Dobe, jams it in. Another power play goal. For the USC Trojans, they are three for three on the power play. Dobe has joined the scoring party. How prolific he has been on offense here in 2018. Another one of those only a matter of times before he put one home. 58 goals now on the year for the conference newcomer of the year. He has worn out the cage against Stanford. Now 11 goals against the Cardinal in 2018. They go to Halleck. Halleck trying to gain position. An exclusion right in front of him. Another power play here for the Cardinal. And Stanford will sound the air horn and call for time after Earhart is excluded. And John Vargas will gather his team up, trailing 7-1. Cardinal will look to set up a power play opportunity. If there is any silver lining here in this first half for Stanford is that they are racking up the personal fouls against USC. Zach Tassaw, Jake Earhart, Jacob Merchev, all carrying two fouls. Could prove beneficial in the second half. But how often do you see a top level matchup such as this? where one team has drawn this will be nine power plays coming up here, yet they trail 7-1. That what happens very often. And the other team, by the way, has only got three power play opportunities. They have made all three. Spending their chances wisely. Timeout is over. Cardinal get to work on the advantage. Woodhead goes to Abramson. Looking inside, nothing there. Trojans pack that middle there around two meters, not allowing any entry to come in easy. Sides coming even. Abramson, he's off the bar. The long rebound will be controlled by Williams, but the power play is over. Three minutes to play now, first half. Williams. He goes Parrish. Parrish moving in. Halleck lurking inside the entry in. Halleck looks to turn. Whitewater everywhere. It's a takeaway for USC as Halleck looked for a call. Trojans, they have seen the film on Ben Halleck. Obviously have the experience of playing him twice this year. They're not going to leave him single covered. Dosich now. Shot clock to eight for USC. Dosich gives a look. A few fakes off the post. A rocket nearly found the corner from Marin Dosich. In transition, an exclusion. That'll go on Karaman, his second. Now 10 fouls against USC. Power play here. Lewis takes a look. Waiting for somebody to break free. Now he'll go to Abramson, far side. Abramson, Allen, steps up. Takes a look, nothing there. Abramson working inside the two. Sides coming even in front. Porter swats that one away on the Woodhead try. 
it's back to six on six. Porter puts up the stop sign for a moment. Now he'll go ahead. Dosic in front. Vavich, he loads it up, and it's tipped away by Lewis. Marco Vavich, he has been quiet offensively. Has 56 goals on the year, but just one in his last four games. Hasn't looked for a shot that much. Gave a look there, but he put it high. Back to Dosic. New shot clock, 90 seconds to play. First half. Slobodian in. Bar down, but wave that off. We'll have a call first. It'll be an exclusion against the Cardinal. That's number two on Blake Parrish, one of the key pieces for Stanford. Bobic now, six on five here. Trojans have been flawless, three for three. Rhodes, top of the perimeter, Dosic, skip, nope, Lewis is there, and the first miss on the power play for USC, now three for four. Nearing one minute to play, first half. A half dominated by USC, ahead 7-1. Seabold. Woodhead, now Stonkey. Here's Abramson. Bad pass. Looked for Halleck. Nobody home. An easy takeaway for Meyer. Long outlet now. Bobich ahead of the crowd. Bobich moving in. And he'll draw the exclusion. That'll be Stonkey excluded. Power play now for USC. Gobey. Rhodes. Sawyer Rhodes has his shot field blocked away. Big stop there by Williams. He had some words for Rhodes after that turn. So the Stanford defense has killed off the last two USC power plays. Shot clock is off now. 17 seconds left here, first half. Siebold. Offensive. In at two meters, Halleck and Slobodian engaging in some wrestling. And an offensive called. And now Porter will push ahead. Rhodes may have a look. This one will go too far. That should do it for the first half. And two quarters complete in the 2018 NCAA Men's Water Polo Championship. And it is all USC. They lead Stanford 7-1. to one. They have stunned this home crowd here at Avery. And they are two quarters away from their first NCAA title since 2013. Stanford will try and change the tide. Third quarter is coming up. You're watching live from Stanford right here on NCAA.com. Welcome back to the Avery Aquatic Center. Greg Meskel here with you from Stanford University where USC has jumped out to a monster lead. 7-1 over Stanford here in the 2018 NCAA National Championship match. All Trojans in that first half. They started out 3-3 three for three on the 6-on-5. Their defense has held Stanford to 1-10 for 10 on the advantage. They got a hat trick from Jacob Merchep. And then goals from Sawyer Rhodes, and Hans Turbay, and Ron Dosich, and Sam Slobodian. They've spread it around. Nick Porter has done the job in goal. And here we come now, third quarter. That's USC in the Whitecaps, Stanford in the Cardinal. And let's see what Stanford is able to do if they are to come back. But we're in for one heck of a comeback. USC trying to keep their foot on the pedal. The hook shot, and they do. Zooming right along to their eighth goal. Marco Vabic is in the mix. Posted up, quick turn. They targeted Vabic right out of the gate here to start the second half. He went right to work. Many Team USA standouts in the pool right now is able to make the quick spin and in. And an 8 1 lead here for USC, and it has largely subdued this crowd. I think even if you're here rooting for USC, you're a bit like, really? Inside, and a penalty. 
And Ben Halleck, he will draw the first penalty shot try. And that'll be all for Luca Caraman. The red flag is out as he picks up his third. And now Halleck to take the penalty. And this is highly important here. Not your usual penalty where it's a given. Everything trending towards USC. Stanford needs something. It's Halleck against Porter. First to get everyone lined up. Halleck puts it home. The second goal of the match for the Stanford Cardinal. And the first of the day for Halleck. And now Porter going one way and send it the other. Faithful still know they need a lot more here to work their way back. Go Bay. Go Bay. Goes to Merchip. Now Rhodes. Merchip. Merchip takes a look. Inside, Bobic back to Merchip. Stanford spring parish the other way as the shot clock was winding down and Trojans will toss it aside. So Lewis will track it down. And we will head to the other end. Better Williams. He's been a big scorer this year for Stanford. Goes Stonky. Stonky waving off the post, off the keeper and out. We saw a goal yesterday. Off the keeper and in. Mirchep keeper out. Ball in. Lewis rolled the dice. He lost. And Mirchep has his fourth goal in this national title match. USC has been looking to counter all day long. They got the long outlet again. Lewis has seen this one too many times. Tried to go out and do something about it. Couldn't get there first. And a 9-2 lead for USC. And what a day for Jacob Merchep. The sophomore from Croatia. He was the Golden Coast Conference newcomer of the year last year at San Jose State. He transfers down to the Trojans this year. And maybe he won't equal his 93 goals from last season, but... Is making a big impact here. 61 goals now. As Stonky takes a look. Here's Williams. Inside, Halleck tries to break free. The steal. Desaw comes over. They have had Halleck well covered. There's Dosich. Dosich waving, looking, pours inside. Double team, but first an exclusion. Slobodian will draw the kick out on Stonky. That's his second. And a timeout called by USC as they are set to attempt their sixth power play. Stands just about at capacity here now at Avery. Several thousand on hand to watch the 2018 National Championship. Jovan Bobic brings his group in, and they're ahead by quite a bit, but so many coaches will tell you, in really any sport, it is much easier to build a lead than to keep a lead. So you jump out to this dramatic advantage, and then, and then what do you do? want to do is just get all the time off the clock and win this game, but that's not how it works. So you have to continue to attack. There's far too much time left to put the brakes on and play keep away. And they're still in that attacking posture. Ahead 9-2 with five and a half to play in the third. Rhodes. Bobic bobbles, regathers. Power play here for the Trojans. Rhodes takes a look. Merchip. 
Marchet faking to Rhodes now. He'll fake across the way. Here's Bobber. Sides coming even. Back to Rhodes. He's knocked down from behind. Running out of time on the clock. And Halleck with the takeaway. The patience is there from Stanford on defense. Now Williams spins inside, taking Merchep for a ride. Williams off the water. It's stopped by Porter. And Nick Porter, high emotion from the Aussie. After a big stop, Williams spun inside on Merchep. Had an opportunity. Tried to go off the water. And Porter was ready. Obey. Bobic now will spin his defender. The lob try and Lewis with the right hand bats it away on the Meyer attempt. Lewis now. Abramson. Abramson working on Bobic. He'll draw the ordinary. Around five meters. We'll take a look. And go to Williams now. Williams far side. Woodhead. Halleck double covered as always. We'll go Williams. Shot clock to six. Bad pass. Trying to lead Halleck, it appeared, towards the cage. But the army of bodyguards that surround Halleck kept that one from working out. Bobich now pushing ahead. Rhodes. Ordinary call. An offensive. USC will turn it over on the contra foul. Lewis giving ahead. Here's Abramson now. Trying to work on Dobey. Abramson spinning and Porter denying. Abramson second effort. That one finds a home. Went right back to the well and hit. First try, a stop by Porter. Undeterred, Abramson went right back to it and hits. The sophomore from Corinda. East Bay talent coming across here to Stanford. Ben Halleck will go to cap number three now. He'll go to number 15. Stanford women's water polo player athletes here. Fisher there in the center. Olympian for Team USA. Mr. McKenzie Fisher, lower left in the black sweatshirt. Represented Team USA winning gold in Rio. Here to cheer on the men's water polo counterparts here at Stanford. Ordinary call. Dossage working free. Three minutes and change to go, third quarter. Leon goes Merchant, pops it inside. Slobodian, the backhand, bar down and in for Sam Slobodian. A 10 3 lead for USC. Inside, dealing with Parrish. Let's it fly on the backhand. The game winner yesterday, and two big goals today. Remember some of the talent that USC has had in the past at two meters. Lockwood Edwards comes to mind. Parrish. Out of the big crew of guys that moved on last year. Power play now for Stanford. The exclusion goes on Meyer. His second. Halleck takes a look. We're in the 15 cap. Here's Seabold now. Back to Halleck. Inside Parrish. Save Porter. Nick Porter has been everywhere the Trojans have needed him. He'll push ahead now to Bobic. 2.15 to play. 
as Vavic motors up the pool. Ordinary called. USC a bit bunched up here near side. They'll space out. Shot clock to three. Two. Vavic tried to let it fly. Field blocked away. A loose ball. Looked like USC was going to get to that rebound, but as they said, loading underneath to try and claim possession. In the meantime, it's knocked away. A race for it. Porter's there first as Halleck tried to work inside. A minute 40 to go here in the third. 10-3 USC leads. They have been in command from the jump. Zach Desaw cruising in. The exclusion. A bear hug there on Halleck. And a score another for USC. That's Luke Wyatt who's come on and hit. play goal here for USC. They're now four for seven on the advantage and ahead 11 to three. Here's Seabold. Quinn Woodhead will take a look. side now, Siebel. Siebel. Looking in for Halleck, not there. Abramson drives through, they put it inside, but Porter gathers first. A battle for it. And it is possession to the Trojans, and then an exclusion. So Seabold excluded. Timeout USC. They will have their eighth power play here with one minute to go in the third quarter. Timeout called. To call this surprising would be an understatement. Third meeting of the year, the past two. Close games, down to the wire. Last time they met, winner from Mearchef with five seconds left. The NCAA final coming off the epic semi, USC, UCLA. All those things point to what would be a close game, a tight one down to the wire. But here we have USC ahead 11 to 3. Half of the power play coming out of the timeout. And at a certain point, there's just not enough time left for the Stanford Cardinal to try and get back in this game. We're going to get to a fourth quarter here where Stanford could be sitting in a nine-goal hole. At that point, USD can, can then really go to that keep away. They won't, but they could. Here's Dobey. Rhodes. The save is there. The rebound. It's batted out of play. That was Meyer among a sea of arms trying to bat that one home on the other end now. In transition, the skip is there. Ben and Williams. Just what the Cardinal needed. They kill off the power play. It springs the counter. And Ben and Williams is able to put it home. Bennett Williams, his first of the day, his 60th on the year. Pressure from Stanford as Dobey controls. Clock to 10, about a 10 second differential shot in game clock. Dobey working backwards. Here's Bobbage. He'll let it fly and sails it wide. Shot clock is off. 12 seconds left here in the third. 
Stanford will take a look. Trying to push to Halleck. He got away from him. Here's Merchev. An ordinary call with just four seconds left. And then an exclusion. So USC is going to hang on to this one and try and win the sprint to start the fourth as Bennett Williams has been excluded. And USC will potentially have a ninth power play to open the fourth. Three quarters complete. It is all men of Troy as they are in control of this one. 11 to 4 over Stanford. We'll take a timeout and return with the fourth quarter. You're watching the 2018 NCAA Men's Water Polo Championship. Welcome back, and welcome back to Stanford University. The fourth quarter is on the way. In this national championship match. It is all USC. Greg Meskel here with you from the Avery Aquatic Center where USC is ahead 11 to four. They got out to a six nothing lead. They have never looked back. They won their first NCAA title 20 years ago in 1998. And they are just eight minutes away from winning the 10th NCAA crown in program history. This the 50th anniversary of the NCAA Men's Water Polo Championship. A lot of numbers there for you, but the most important one right now, it's SC 11, Stanford 4. Stanford is going to stage one of the all-time rallies. Where USC is going to be on their way to a celebration in the pool here at Avery. He's just a 
consulting with the scorers table here. Awesome crowd turnout. And this will be the site for the NCAA Women's Water Polo Championship as well, come this May. USC women winning the title back in the spring, so looking for a sweep here in the same calendar year of the water polo crowns. Either way, another NCAA title is going to be claimed by a Pac-12 school. Opening sprint taken by Parrish, so that cancels out the opportunity for a power play for USC. Here's Williams. Williams. Lost the handle momentarily, now he gathers back. Goes to Stonky. Abramson on the skip. Porter closing the door near side. Alec and Slobodian intertwined in the backcourt. Here's Vavich now. And an exclusion. Goes against Abramson. Six on five now for USC. Those numbers have started to even out now. Tenth opportunity here for the Trojans. Stanford has had 11 cracks on it. Merchev faking to Vavich. Vavich moving in to Merchev. Takes a look and drills it. Merchev with his fifth. And a salute for the Trojan fans. They went to work on the six on five. And the lefty. Rips it high near corner. What a day for the Trojans and Merchip. 12 to 4, they lead USC. Tries to turn the corner. And an ordinary call as he ran into Bobbage. He comes to Seabold, nothing there. Here's Woodhead. Seabold takes a look. Woodhead now, timer to eight. Pops inside. Halleck, the turn and score. Second of the day for Ben Halleck. Stanford gets their fifth of the day. 12-5. Hannes Dobe. Mayor Chip. Seems like a good candidate for the most valuable player in this one. And Nick Porter has made some big stops in Cage as well. Dobe, timer to four. Novavich. And a shot clock violation. And at this point, that's totally fine also for USC as they're happy to burn some time off this clock. Here's Stonky. He has room to operate. And then an exclusion. Alec wide open. They don't spot him right away. The exclusion there on Dobe. Stonky now. Goes to Woodhead moving in. Woodhead to Parrish. That's off the frame of the cage. Stonky on the rebound. Williams moving in. The skip is there. Bennett Williams with his second goal and just the second power play conversion for Stanford. They're now 2 for 12 on the day. As Williams went low on the bounce and to connect. Stanford players in the 
crowd there. Trying to will their team back here. With under five and a half to play, trailing by six. That will not help the cause. Ben and Williams is second. Air chip. In front and another Matt Meyer on the power play. And anytime Stanford thought they could take a step closer in closing the gap, USC has had an answer. And Meyer, the junior, raises the fist. Makes it a 13-6 game. And this one looks to be all but over here. As we fall to the five-minute mark. Stocky cruising in. Goes across the way. And score it there. For Quinn Woodhead. So Quinn Woodhead able to hit on the dish from Stonkey. And Stanford getting one back 13 to 7. Stonkey on the assist heard from some folks in the state of Washington earlier today. It's four years ago that Stonkey. A.J. Rossman helped Bellevue to a Washington High School State Championship in the Pacific Northwest. And now both of them here competing for Stanford in this national title. Rossman went on to transfer to Southern California. Offensive foul. Stanford has it back. I can't hear myself anymore. And exclusion. Merchep is excluded, and that's all. Merchep is done, and a timeout is called. So Stanford now will get the six on five opportunity. Their 13th of the day. So John Vargas will bring the group together. This is where the uh, folks with water polo experience. Those that played the 90s would not mind the old two-point shot being around. Stanford could use a, a couple of eight-meter bombs here to climb back into this one. I wouldn't mind the two-point shot either. That would make things interesting. Very few leads would be safe. But we don't have that goal right now, so it is a 13-7 lead here for USC. But Stanford on the power play. They are in must-score territory to state the obvious. Here's Williams. Halleck gives a look. Halleck! Center cage! He has a hat trick. And Stanford gets another back. Went right over the top. Four oh nine to play. Is there enough time? USC will wisely use a lot of the clock now. Given the five goal difference, they're going to need it by there. I mean, Stanford, they're going to need USC to, to make some kind of mistake here as well at some point. There's Meyer. Shot clock to one. Save Lewis. And he's on it. Here comes Stanford. Halleck, dangerous pass. He'll gather. He'll have the ordinary. He can rise up and go with it. The lob off the post and in. What a touch 
from Ben Halleck. Well, hang on. Look at that delivery. Put it in the lob textbook. 13 to 9. Stanford chipping away. They'll send the ball back to Porter. And they'll push ahead now. Here's Vavich. Just an ordinary shot clock to 11. Dangerous pass. It gets through to Dosic. Stonky defending. He'll head the other way. Timer to five. Slobodian, an ordinary. Timer to four. Slobodian takes a look. And the shot clock will expire, and Stanford takes control. And they are one goal away from making this a three-goal game, if you can believe it. Here's Parrish. Working inside. An exclusion. Desaw goes off. That's all for Desaw. Here's Stonky. We'll take a look. Abramson stuffed by Porter. A huge stop. Abramson surging in. He tips it home. Porter made the stop. Couldn't get it out of harm's way. Abramson pushes it in. Let's take a second look. They casually exchange possession. Abramson there the whole time. And he's able to shove that home. It's a three-goal game. Wow. And now this Stanford crowd has come to life. They were down 6-0. They were down 9 here in the second half. They have got it to within three. And an exclusion. Seabold excluded. New shot clock here for USC as Jackson Seabold goes off. This is where the defense has to be smart. The energy goes up a notch. Bobic moving in. Bobic field blocked. Controlled out to the corner. And right to awaiting Quinn Woodhead, who's come on. Here comes Stanford. Under two to play here in the fourth. Woodhead. Ordinary. Here's Parrish. Dylan Woodhead. Inside. Deflected. A gather. A penalty. Halleck reached for it. He was pulled from behind by Slobodian. And a five-meter penalty shot is on the way for Stanford to make this a two-goal game. Here's Halleck. Scored a penalty shot earlier. We'll get another crack at it here. They'll push back to Bay. Halleck to shoot. He couldn't hang on. Unbelievable. A penalty shot that would have made it a two-goal game. He lost the handle. And that just vacuumed the air right out of this place. Here's Vavic. Here's Rhodes. Rhodes controls. Entry inside. Slobodian, the turn off the bar. Here comes Stanford. Lewis now, the long outlet. He'll push ahead. Parrish moving in. Parrish takes a look, working with Halleck. Halleck surging inside. Another penalty. With one minute to play. It'll go against Rhodes. And this time it'll be Williams to shoot the penalty. 
Johnny Bahani tonight. Everyone getting in position. Bennett Williams. Lots of jockeying for position here. Williams now. Puts it away. Two goal game. 13 to 11 with 58 seconds left. You have to wonder had that Alec penalty been converted early. You're looking at a one goal game right now. Still, it is somehow within shouting distance. This Stanford team left for dead here in the second half. It certainly seemed like it was over. Fifty-eight seconds left. Going to need defense, and they're going to need a quick score. Stanford fans chanting, "Fix the clock!" Looking for some more time added back. Stays at 58 seconds and we resume play. Cardinal will pursue the ball as Bobic pushes it ahead and then USC. USC will take a timeout. So timeout called by USC, their last timeout. Stanford has hung on to a 30 second timeout. Seemed like it was going to be USC winning this one, going away, cruising to their 10th NCAA title. Credit the Stanford Cardinal for coming back on this one and not making it easy. They battle back to make it a two-goal game under a minute to play. Oh, so close to making it a one-goal game at one point. Had you factored in the penalty shot try there. USC just trying to hang on to this one. Forty-nine seconds left in regulation. Twenty-one on the shot clock. So Stanford's aim here will be to get a stop and then score in a hurry. Porter will get it started. USC looking to just take time off the clock here. Here's Earhart. He'll attack. He'll have a chance to shoot here. Earhart moving in, faking and scoring. And Jake Earhart will put the cap on this one. And now a big sigh of relief over on the USC sideline. Hugs all around as they have weathered the storm. Jake Earhart hitting for his 31st goal, the freshman. Celebration preparation on the USC sideline. They had to sweat it out a lot more than they thought they would. Halleck off the ordinary goes lob and in. He's got five goals in this one now to make it 14 12. So strong on the lob try. He's hit two just like that. Porter now will put it in play. Shot clock is off, and USC can take the rest of the time from this one. We are under 10. Here's Meyer. And the men of Troy will count it down. 20 years after their first NCAA title, they are champions again. USC wins the 2018 NCAA Men's Water Polo Championship, and they're into the water here at Avery.
This will go down as a two-goal victory, but it was a 6-0 start that put USC in command of this one. They then built it even larger in the second half before holding off a furious rally from Stanford. The Cardinal nearly working their way all the way back, but the hole just too deep to climb out of. And Stanford, their title drought that goes back to 2002 will continue for another year. Despite their best record since 2009, they finish now at 21 and 3 on the year. USC caps the year at 30 and 3 with their 10th NCAA title in program history, their first since 2013 when they ran off six in a row. And they joined some rarefied air of uh, 30 win teams, many of which were Stanford and Cal during the 80s and 90s at 130 and an NCAA crown. So sweep for the USC water polo programs in 2018. The women win it in the spring, and the men claim it here in December. Jacob Merchep with five goals, paces that USC attack, slam, Slobodian playing big once again, two goals, and then they spread it around. Marco Bavic, Marin Dosic, Hannes Dobe, Jake Earhart with the capper, Matt Myers, Sawyer Rhodes, Luke Wyatt, and Nick Porter. In net. For Stanford, Ben Halleck with five goals, two for Bennett Williams, and two for Tyler Abramson. But again, just a massive deficit early and couldn't work their way back. More to come here from Stanford. Trophy presentation is on the way as USC is bringing another title back to the land of Troy. The 16th national title in the storied career of head coach Jovan Babic. And how fitting they do it here. Some 20 years later from that first NCAA crown in 1998. And on the 50th anniversary of the NCAA Men's Water Polo Championship. So stick with us here on NCAA.com. Trophy presentation on the way. Greg Meskel signing off for now. Stick around trophy presentation and more to come. It is a 14-12 win for USC. Your 2018 NCAA Men's Water Polo Champions.
This year's National Collegiate Men's Water Polo Championship finishing with a record of 21-3. and three. The Stanford Cardinal will head coach John Vargas and the team captains please come forward to accept the trophy. Congratulations on a great season. Let's give all these outstanding student athletes, coaches, and staff a round of applause. And now, the 2018 National Collegiate Men's Water Polo National Champion, finishing with a record of 30-3, and three, the USC Trojans. Presenting the award is Chair of the NCAA Men's Water Polo Committee, Matt Anderson. Will head coach Jovan Bavic and the team captains please come forward to accept the trophy. Now for the players, one Nick Porter. 1A, Sam Crudenog. 2, Sam Slavodin. 3, Marko Vavic. 4, Marin Dasic. 5, Hannes Dobey. 6, Zach Dessau. 7, Luca Carmen. 8, Jake Earhart. 9, Jacob Merchep. 10, Matt Meyer. 11, Sawyer Rhodes. 12, Daniel Leong. 13, Luke Wyatt. 14, Christian Hockenberry. 18, Orestes Serpergi. Assistant coaches Marco Pintarich and Jack Plaga. Congratulations to the USC Trojans, your 2018 National Collegiate Men's Water Polo National Champions. And now for this year's NCAA Water Polo All Tournament teams. The second team from USC, Sam Slobodin. From UCLA, Evan Rosenfeld. From Stanford, Tyler Abramson. From UC San Diego, Connor Turnbull Lindenstadt. From USC, Marin Dasich. From UC San Diego, Casper Langvich. And from USC goalie, Nick Porter. This year's first team all tournament team from Stanford, Ben Halleck. From USC, Jacob Merchep. From Stanford, Bennett Williams. From Stanford, Blake Parrish. From USC, Hannes Dobe. Also from USC, Marco Ravich. And from UCLA goalie Alex Wolf. This year's most valuable player from USC, Jacob Merchep. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the NCAA and our host institution, Stanford University, we thank you for your attendance at the 2018 NCAA Division I Men's Water Polo Championship. Once again, congratulations to our champions, the USC Trojans.